Epic 7 has no content for the next month, so what I decided to do today was to try out one of the most classic, but maybe most controversial things in Epic 7, cleaving. Airing today, aren't we? And today, I'm going to be trying it with Faith Athletica, who, as you can see here, she's got Grace, she's got 2.6k attack, I wish I had a better spread of stats on her but i have 105 effectiveness i have no tankiness at all because guess what we're gonna pair high damage dealers that are gonna blow up the enemy team before they get a chance to try and counter me and we're going to pair her with characters like maybe commander pavel sid Zio, who knows who will make an appearance however the goal of this team is to abuse sasha thanes as you can see here and flitica's kit which as you can see here we have a chance to strip which can't be counterattacked. we have a skill three which applies skill nullifier it increases this combat readiness of everyone by 25 percent and we have a an unreliable blind which i won't be hopefully relying on too much but the goal of today is to see if cleaving or playing fast or wanting to one shot and end everything fast is it gone is it too weak? Does it need a buff? Let's find out. Okay, so... Oh, oh. Oh, we should be fine because all I really have to do here is just press skill one. I don't activate anything too crazy. If I just S2 here, we should even be... We should be in an even better spot. Right? Because even if this hits Jacko, we cleanse. We're, we're okay. We're fine. Angel of Light puts everyone, silences everyone. We should be able to reset everyone. And then all of a sudden, all we got to do is, oh, that's weird. That reset. Hmm, interesting. Uh, okay, I mean, I still have the out of hitting the, the Ed. Okay, I, okay, it, it got one shot. It got one shot. In all honesty, in all honesty, getting one shot is more than I could ask for. You know, in a sense, in a sense, this is kind of a blessing, okay? So, I didn't know if this was going to work. I have a really fast Faithless Zetica, but I sure was not positive about this this match and this thing working out. But it looks fine because we did enough damage. Jacko has her thing going. Uh, hopefully, Spectre Tenebria doesn't do anything else to me. Uh, and we should be fine because actually, yes, so Lua gets pushed all the way back and between that and I guess my Angel of Light who wants to get 50% and, you know, up. I'll go talk to Angel of Light later. That, no problem. Push back. And he can't touch my, <laughs> he can't touch, he, he can't touch my Jacko, uh, right? I didn't reset her. Yep, yep, I didn't reset. So even if he wants to, we'd have to S1, S3, and then, looks good. Sounds good. So, Faithless Lydica set all that up, did all the debuffs, got to push everyone, cut, S2, S3. I'm loving her already. Okay, so if I just push the if I just push the Ed back, I have Angel of Light and oh, or I could get none of that and we'd also be okay. So same sort of thing. We have Chiron. We're testing just to see how is it really risky to play Cleave? Maybe not. Doesn't look too bad to me. I think we're in for basically a repeat of the first game. I mean, <laughs> I'm sure he's smashing his I'm sure he's smashing his skull against the pavement trying to figure out what happened but similar to the Lewis situation it's I don't know what happened maybe I went through a time machine or something but we found the same exact game we're going to one shot some we're gonna one shot the poor the poor Ed we're going to reset I didn't need that we're going to reset the uh, and he's gonna leave before it. this is all Flitica this is the Flitica show or maybe you know what you can maybe argue that okay Jacko's kind of doing her thing too I'm, you know <laughs> I'm Hey, 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 if I could be the ball around Jacko's foot, I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean, fella? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so once again, it's us against the stars, and oh boy, this looks pretty tough. So, the first thing that you have to do in any good cleave composition is you gotta silence the Karina, because I hate this character, and no one likes this character. But after the Karina, we need to see if Faithless Lydica can actually do enough damage, and if Commander Pavel will fail me. Uh, hopefully, though, the answer is no, and with this skill three onto the Karina. The skill three should not only potentially reset, but then once I skill three with my Sid, Commander Pavel brings our lifelong, our hopes, dreams, everything in between, hopefully to life. We There's, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, nice resistance. Okay, we probably were gonna go into 
we were gonna go into the the martial artist ken anyway so it doesn't really pause 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 excuse havers that was we were winning anyways silence silence excuser is, oh well you only but because a lucky duel no 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 not nothing like that nothing like that this time this is a a very earned win as you could tell no resistance no funny business we beat every kind of weird wacky uh, disgusting anti-cleave character that you could look at and wow that's a win that's a win no no counters necessary no no extra dual attacks necessary no rng win win okay so this time the plan was a little more crazy uh i decided to try and race a ran and a lua from a legend player which has never worked out for me so what i'm going to try and do here instead is as i stall for an answer oh my god that aiden has immunity for some reason i'm going to reset the lua i'm going to defense break everyone and then we're gonna bing bang boom get everyone out of their comfort zone i think i think I think Aiden already got hit. Oh, oh, thank God. Okay, we activated her counter. Uh, useless character, useless character alert. Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. Okay, all right. So all we have to do now is one shot the Ran, one shot the, oh, maybe the Lua. Wait, maybe we leave the Lua alive, actually. Lua doesn't have any buttons. So what if I were to, I don't know, just skill two here and, oh, okay. So actually, uh, thankfully, 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 I mean, I don't need the souls. Okay, that was a bit of a gamble, but oh, we're cleavers. What do we know about anything? Oh, wait. Actually, psych, 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 psych. We can one shot the Lua because we have Sasha Thane's. Very useful, very handy. We just skill one into the Aiden and then hopefully it doesn't cut me. And bada bing, bada boom. And we're back in business, baby. Okay. This is the part. This is the part of the video where I don't get soloed by uh, by Kron and if I do it doesn't get added to the you know we just hide this from footage we don't include it in the video because I have flan and I have faith Lytica. if I were to for some reason get soloed here by Kron when I have a, a blue support unit on my side that would be very disgusting right we could all agree that would be very unrealistic that would look like pay paid actor syndrome. Fast forward to the part where it becomes flawed versus k Rod, but oh god, oh god, oh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Strip? Okay, he doesn't have an attack buff. So, that's more than I could ask. Hmm. Strip? We're in a good spot again. Okay. All right. All right. Very, very lucky that Faithless Lydica was able to strip with her S2 there. But the likelihood is not that. It's not that uncommon. We got a win. We got a dub from, uh, I guess, someone that wanted to anti cleave and race. But we have Faithless Lydica. We have two speed imprints. That's a win in my book. Okay. So there's a couple ways that we could play this. I don't really know the best. Uh, ah. Ee. Okay, so, okay, okay, what I'm going to do is pray that the 105 effect resistance or the 105 effectiveness that I have my faith with Sotica is enough to reset Karina, because guess what? Karina sucks. Karina's ugly. I don't like Karina. So we're going to skill three her. We're going to use my big bad Sid skill three onto the, onto the politis. We're going to one shot it because we have the best Sid world. And because we reset the Karina, we should be able to not only get the proc, but we should be able to one-shot. Uh, we should be able to one-shot the Aiden here and hide. And then guess what? We sash push because we are the greatest players of all time. And because the... Oh, I mean, look. One is silence. The other's reset. I have all options at my disposal. I don't really care too, too much anymore. I'm not going to one-shot the arrow because I'm afraid it's going to holy sack and then everything gets ruined. But minus some weird, wacky thing like that happening, there's nothing There's nothing else to worry about. What, what is he going to do? Nothing? Nothing? Probably nothing. Was that, was that Noble Oath? Uh, well, that's my Zio disappearing. Okay, at least he gets his final hit off. You know, <laughs> like his 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 parting breath. Oh my God. Okay, please. You know, uh, but like we're we're fine. Okay, all right, all right. We get a strip in the way. What what, what is Karina doing? Karina does nothing. 
He, she's crying. She's screaming. She's hollering. And goodbye. So that was pretty plain and simple. That was that was cleaving. <laughs> that was cleaving by my. That was that's cleaving in my book. Anyways, guys, as you can see, Faithless Lydica is pretty good at as a fast opener. I get it. Not everyone has the speed. This isn't supposed to be a you have to build this character or else kind of video. I just wanted to showcase how strong cleave can be. Is it strong? Is it weak? Are the players I fought against NPCs? You decide for yourself. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video, though. Make sure to like, comment, turn the notification bell. Let me know what you think about this Faithless Lydica thing. Uh, I do want to do a bit of a special shout out. If you guys haven't seen it, I also have like a VOD channel where I upload a lot of like the recordings or the live recordings of these sort of showcases or people talks, etc. If you're curious about my thoughts or on certain things, you can tune into stream, ask me questions or watch the VOD, anything in between. I appreciate all of you guys. We're almost near 10K. So if you wouldn't mind click the subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. I have something kind of planned for 10k, so make sure to stay tuned. However, I appreciate all of you guys that have been watching, supporting me this year, and I guess I'm getting, I'm getting the end of year recap vibe, but thanks so much. I'll see you guys on the next one. Make sure to check out the rest of my socials. Adios.